What is up, YouTube? It is your boy NMR Sports here coming back at you with another MLB video. And today we are going over my new and improved, my updated power rankings for week three and a half of the MLB season. I think we're just going to start, we're just going to ignore the first half week. We're going to start calling it week three. A lot of big updates in this one. I feel like I've been cutting teams too, mi too much slack, and this week I ruled with an iron fist. If you're playing bad, then you are going down in the power rankings, and if you're playing great, if you're playing great, you're going up in the power rankings. So I'm excited. Let's get into it. But before we do, if you like daily MLB content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. We're getting really close to 1,500 subscribers, and be sure to hit that like button. It helps this video reach a lot more people. Last week, you guys seemed to really like my power rankings. I hope you guys like this week's. Let's get into the video. Start talking about numbers 30 through 26. All right, not a whole lot of shakeup in the bottom five here. Starting at number 30, it's very clear cut now. It's very clear for anybody to see. The Cincinnati Reds are by far the worst team in baseball. They still only have three wins. In the month of April, they only had three wins. That is just... I, I don't know how you can be that bad. Like, I understand they traded away a lot of their good players, but it's not like they have the worst roster in MLB history, is right? Right? I think they're better than that, but... My God, they are not playing like it now. Poor Joey Votto, I feel so bad for him. Number 29, we got the Pittsburgh Pirates. Out of all the bad teams, we figured they would be the worst. And honestly, it's it's not a large talent margin. The, the Reds are the lowest by far. From 29 to 26, there's not a large talent margin difference. Uh, teams like the Royals, I feel like, have a little bit more potential than the Pirates. That's why I put them ahead. The A's have a little bit of young talent. I like Christian Pache quite a bit. Uh, and their pitching staff's actually been pretty solid over there in Oakland. And then, of course, the Washington Nationals, they just beat... Um, they just came off two wins against the San Francisco Giants, which I think might be the best team in all of baseball. So, and Juan Soto, of course. So that's why I have the Nationals up a few spots, up at the 26th spot this week. And the Oakland A's just got swept by the Cleveland Guardians. The Kansas City Royals just aren't winning a lot of baseball games. It's kind of what we figured. These are my bottom five teams. Let's get into the next five. Down at number 25, making a big leap down. That is the Detroit Tigers. And I'm very disappointed in this team. They, I thought they were really good coming into the season i honestly thought they could be second place over there in the al central but my god they are playing terribly right now the pitching's been awful they have not been hitting nearly as good as i expected them to and i don't think it's aj hinch's fault so i don't know what's going on with that team uh down at 25 just below the texas rangers the rangers still have one of the worst pitching staffs in all of baseball but they've been scoring enough runs lately to make up for it they just beat the braves last night which is very impressive so i got the rangers moving up one spot the cubs i have down a few spots Spots. The Cubs have been playing terribly, man. Marcus Stroman did finally have his first good start, but it was against one of the worst offenses in all of baseball, so take that with a grain of salt. Uh, their pitching has been atrocious. Their hitting has not been good enough. It's been good, but it hasn't been good enough to make up for their atrocious pitching. So 23 for the Cubs. 22, I've been really impressed. Well, honestly, 21 and 22. I've been very impressed by these two teams, the Diamondbacks and the Orioles. They've been taking a lot of games from good teams. The Diamondbacks took two from the Dodgers. The Orioles beat my Angels and the Yankees and the Red Sox. They're honestly being really, really, really tough teams to beat right now. And that's why I got them so high there at 21 and 22. Kind of the top of the bad teams. Uh, are these two teams right here. I think their talent level is a little bit lower than some of these teams down here, but playing wise right now, you got to have them above them. All right, moving on to the middle here. We got 20 through 16, starting off with the Colorado Rockies, just squeaking into the top 20. They had a great, very good start, and they're still playing all right, but they've definitely dropped off a little bit. I believe they're still over 500, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there's still a few games over 500, so they've still been playing very well. I just don't think uh, that they can sustain that production, so I feel like 20 is a pretty good spot for them right now. Red Sox at 19. The only thing keeping them in the top 20 is that I think they're better than they've been performing but overall man honestly they've been playing like uh maybe a bottom 20 team maybe maybe put them below the the diamondbacks and the orioles because they have been playing like that they just lost two or three from the orioles they have not been scoring any runs and the pitching's been okay but it hasn't been elite it's not like they're the the brewers who can just score two runs a game and win every game this is the red Sox. they got to score more runs than that uh, hansel robles i've seen blow a couple of saves 
just overall, they have not been playing well. Kind of like the fourth place team, I projected them to be coming into the season. That's what I've been seeing from them. So 19 feels like a good spot for them. 18, this is the biggest drop on the board, by the way, the Chicago White Sox. For some reason, I had them in the top 10 thinking they would turn it around this week, uh, last week, and they have just looked terrible. They did almost beat my Angels in the in the ninth inning last night. We're not going to talk about that one. If you want to see my reaction, though, check out the live stream I did yesterday. It was hilarious. I literally couldn't speak. They almost blew that save. But overall, the White Sox just have not looked good. They lost a bullpen game to the Angels. Jimmy Herget beat them. They have just not been beating up on the teams they need to beat up on. The Twins have been beating up on them. Like I said, the Angels beat up on them. Overall, they've just been playing like one of the worst teams in baseball right now, and I can't have them in the top 15 if they're going to do that. Just above them, I have the Cleveland Guardians. The Cleveland Guardians are the hottest and the coldest team in baseball all at once. They have either been swept or swept a team in every single series this year. So I don't know what I I don't know what to expect from this team. I think Jose Ramirez is an MVP candidate. I think the pitching staff is decent. But outside of that, man, I, I really don't know. We'll have to see if they can sustain their offensive production. Fran Mill Reyes, one of the coldest hitters in all of baseball right now. He's really got to heat it up if they're going to move up in my power rankings. And then at 16, we got the Philadelphia Phillies up from... I, I actually don't remember where I had them. I think I had them at 17 last week, something like that. But yeah, the Phillies, they've been playing pretty good. I think their offense is still pretty solid, but they've been playing a lot of tough teams. So I cut them some slack, moved them up a little bit. Phillies at 16. All right, and we have a huge shakeup to the numbers 11 through 15 right here. Out of the top 10, you can see the Atlanta Braves all the way down at 15. They have been atrocious, well under 500 right now. They can't beat any, they honestly just can't beat anybody. They're losing games to the Rangers. They're losing games to the Nationals. They're losing games to literally everybody. They are just not, in my opinion, they're just not really a great baseball team right now. There's a lot of flaws with this team outside of guys like Kyle Wright and... Ozzy Albies, I guess. Literally, I, I don't know. Everybody's struggling on this team. They're just not putting it together. If they score a lot of runs, they give up a lot of runs. If they don't give up a lot of runs, they don't score a lot of runs. They, they just can't seem to figure out how to win ball games right now. And I don't, I'm not worried about them yet. I still think they're probably a playoff team, but... My God, right now, man, it's really hard to not worry about this team. Just above them, we have the opposite, a team that I think is much worse than the Braves, but has been playing way better, way better. They are absolutely killing it right now. That is the Minnesota Twins. They've won nine of their last 10. The offense is clicking. The pitching has been a lot better than expected, a lot better than expected. Really impressed by Joe Ryan specifically. Shout out to him. Byron Buxton, if he can stay healthy, he's clearly an MVP candidate. And just overall, I really like this team. And Carlos Correa needs to start heating up. And I think this team could probably win the AL Central the way the White Sox are playing right now. Up at 13, we have a team I was really high on coming into the year. That is the Miami Marlins. And they're finally starting to put it together and win games. They swept the Nationals, which isn't that impressive. But if you're going to be a good team, you got to sweep teams like the Nationals. They took, uh, I believe they took one of three or two of three from the Mariners. They've just been playing pretty damn good baseball. I don't think they I still think their offense is a little bit too weak to be a contender for like a World Series berth or anything, but I think their pitching staff could definitely carry them into the postseason. Next up at 12 and 11, we've got the Astros and the Mariners, two AL West teams. They have both been playing okay, but neither one of them have been playing, you know, elite. I, I don't know. I, I'm very disappointed in the in the Astros right now. I think their lineup is really bad. I really do think their lineup's really bad. Outside of Jeremy Pena and Jordan Alvarez and Alex Bregman, I don't really like the rest of it. I'll be honest. Kyle Tucker, when he gets hot, will be fine, but he's off to a very, very slow start. And the pitching staff hasn't been great outside of Justin Verlander and Framber Valdez. So I don't know what to expect from this team. I, I assume they're still technically favorites to win the AL West, but they have looked really, really bad. So right now I got them down to number 12. Mariners at number 11. Mariners have been playing very, very good baseball. Just squeaked outside of the top 10. Just because I think the teams above them are a little bit better. And here we are at the top 10. Just squeaking in. We got the St. Louis Cardinals. I still think they're a very good team, and their defense is definitely going to have to carry them. But uh, overall, man, they have started to heat up the bats a little bit, and the pitching's been better than I expected this year. So Cardinals in at number 10. <clears throat> just above them, the Brewers are finally starting to heat up. But just like I said, man, they still can't hit. They need to acquire a big bat at the trade deadline. And I don't know if they're going to do that because they had all offseason to acquire a big bat. 
but they just didn't. They just didn't. They traded for Hunter Renfro and signed McCutcheon. That's cool, but that they could have been a World Series favorite if they just signed a few more bats. So Brewers in at number nine, still mad at them. Just above them at number eight, I've got the Tampa Bay Rays. I think the Tampa Bay Rays are a very complete team. I think they're solid on defense. They're solid on offense. They're solid pitching. Uh, hopefully Shane Baz comes back and is healthy and that could propel them into first place in the AL East. But for now, I got them at number eight in the power rankings. Just above them, a team that is very, very good right now. That is the San Diego Padres. They have been fantastic to start the season. And uh, I don't really have much else to say, man. They have been killing it on offense. They've been killing it with their pitching staff. Even their bullpen's been performing pretty well. So got to give some credit to the Padres. Put them up at number seven. Their first appearance in the top 10 this season. You knew I had to do it. You knew I had to do it. Number six team in all of baseball, the Los Angeles Angels absolutely killing it this year what can i say what can i say they are absolutely destroying the baseball right now offensively the starting rotation looks disgusting disgusting between sandoval who hasn't allowed an earned run yet i know i just jinxed him for today's start that's fine noah Syndergaard looks amazing uh, mike lorenzen looks amazing almost threw a complete game shutout yesterday until we choked in the ninth uh, obviously, Otani's great. Honestly, we just got to fill those last two rotation spots, and we are going to be nasty. The bullpen looks great, depending on the day. They just look good. So much young talent on this roster, and it's a deep roster. It's the first time I've been able to say that in, like, what, 10 years, it feels like. This is a deep, complete roster. Hopefully, their top players can stay healthy this year with Trout, Rendon, Syndergaard, Otani, all these guys. But overall, man, they are playing like the number six team in all of baseball right now. And I'm starting to believe again. Oh, man, I'm starting to believe again. I'm going to get so disappointed when they fall apart late in the season. I can't wait. Anyways, squeaking into the top five, we've got the Toronto Blue Jays. The Toronto Blue Jays have been very, very good lately. I will say I'm a little bit worried about their lineup, which is kind of weird. I feel like I, w I, I, I never thought I would say I was worried about the Blue Jays lineup. But like, I'm, I just feel like it's too top heavy, you know? Same thing with the Angels. I feel like their lineup's a little top heavy as well. But after like the first four or five spots in that order, I don't think Ch Matt Chapman's a great hitter. I don't think Rymel Tapia is a great hitter. I don't think, I think, who's who else is on that bench? Bradley Zimmer, Santiago Espinal has been pretty good. I'll, I'll give him that, but they don't have any good catchers. Like, I, I don't know. I, I really don't like the bottom of their lineup, and that's what's scaring me right now. I will say the rotation looks amazing with Gossman. Honestly, being my favorite to win the American League Cy Young right now, he has just been dominant start the year. Still has not walked a batter, and it feels like he strikes out at least 10 batters every start. So he's just been elite to start the season. Still really like the Blue Jays. i just a little worried about the lineup in the bullpen. Up at number four, we got one of my favorite teams. That is the San Francisco Giants. A little bit of a struggle this week honestly they had kind of a rough week i still keeping them in the top five though i still think uh they're a very good baseball team every team's gonna have a bad week so right now i got them at number four now as you may have seen teased in the thumbnail we have a new team at number one let's see who it is i think you guys already know and that is it the new york mets the number one team in all of baseball let's go through the top three real quick the new york yankees on an absolute tear right now absolute tear nine straight for the new york yankees the rotation looks great the bullpen has been dominant the bullpen has been freaking dominant in the lineup i'll be honest i don't think it's producing as well as it can this team could be scary i think their defense has been great everything about this team has been phenomenal they're clicking on all cylinders watch out for the yankees man everyone was sleeping on them coming into the season i had them i think as third place in a wild card so i kind of slept on them too i'll be honest but i think they're proving everybody wrong right now they have been phenomenal top three team in baseball in a number two i didn't move them down because they are bad i didn't move them down because they suck i just moved them down because they're not playing as good as the first team that is the los angeles dodgers the dodgers have been pretty solid the rotation looks good the bullpen looks pretty good the lineup i feel like it could be producing a little bit better a lot of big names on this team obviously on paper they're the best team but overall man i think the new york mets have it right now i think they are the team to beat in baseball they have been phenomenal their pitching staff has been phenomenal the lineup's been very very good francisco lindor is back everybody pete alonzo's hitting home runs over there uh even guys like dom smith have been doing very well mark canna has been underrated this whole team is just phenomenal. I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm becoming a Mets fan too. I love the Giants, but I also love the Mets. 
Uh, this is a very fun year of baseball, man. I'm really excited, but these are my rankings. Let's go ahead and look at numbers 1 through 30 one last time. All right, and there you have it, numbers 1 through 30. Let me know if you agree or disagree down in the comment section. Feel free to screenshot, share it on social media. Let me know what you guys think. Let me have it if you think I got it wrong, or go ahead and agree with me if I got it right. I love people telling me I'm right, so... 1 through 30 right here. I appreciate you guys watching my week 3 power rankings. Y'all are goaded. I'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks again so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more daily MLB content. And have a great rest of your day.